Hello there, K5 here, and today we've got a nice parcel just coming from Japan with a few cars in it, and also a Okay, it's time to check out what's in the parcel from Japan. Now this has been sent to me all the way to the darkest, deepest Japan on the other side of the world from my good old friend Koji Taguchi. He's uh, probably one of the nicest people I've ever met on the internet. Um, if you haven't sit, gone to see his channel then you want to go over there. He loves his die cast. He's a bit like me, he loves, his, the, loves the structure and the construction of it all and the, the way that uh, it reflects the history and the, uh, the social standing and what's going on in the world at the time it's, that the uh, piece of die cast was, uh, was made basically and uh, yeah the social, the social implications of that so uh, thank you so much Cozy I did not um, expect to, uh, whoa, to get such a, a box um, at this time of the year or anything any other time of the year to be honest as you can see it's been massively wrapped this fantastic uh, Japanese bag and within it is a box now this box took a while to get to me it took uh, it didn't take long to get from Japan but uh, I wasn't in when it was delivered and it ended up um, getting kind of lost in the post for a little while and Cozy contacted me and said oh the box is in England somewhere and uh, well, it's here now, so uh, let's have a look inside, shall we? A wrapping, and there's a lot of shaking and rough rattling going around here, so I hope everything is as you sent it, Cozy. Let's have a look, shall we? So, uh, I'm going to go straight in with the first bit of loose action. Wow, whoa, this looks to me very much like the Mercedes AMG. From the coffee, this can't be surely from the coffee car collection. Wow. You know, the base of that looks like a welly or something. Oh, that's just amazing. Look, it's even got rubber eye. Oh, this is beautiful. What a thing. Wow. That is awesome. Wow. 164 scale awesomeness. This looks like the box it came in and it's all fallen, kind of fallen out of the box. And there's another box. Oh no, cozy. Let's see what other one we've got here. This is just too much. <laughs> oh wow. Goodness me. It survived. I heard it rattling. This is awesome. Now what's so groovy about this, this is the, uh, the old 1950 whenever SLR Mercedes in in basically in racing mode, all in black here. It's got the flycatcher on the front. It's just awesome, epic, epic piece. Wow, I love these cars. I know Cozy also collects uh, uh, these old uh, 300 SLs. They're just beautiful. Look at it. Wow, what a thing. That is the and look at the wheels on that. Look, the other thing. I mean, look at the wheels on these cars. They are just spot on. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Oh, completely forgot he was going to send these to me. Of course, I, like, but I just don't know what's in this parcel. So uh, bear with these. These were that he did say he was going to send me these cars, but they're beautiful. That's like the then and now of uh, automotive action. I mean, look at the wing mirrors on this. Crikey. That's a great opener. I'm going to read you the letter from my friend Kozi Togushi. It says, uh, "Dear Chris San, how have you how, how have you been doing? Thank you for always having a good relationship. This box is uh, a demi tasse size, but I do not think it is bad. <laughs> do you have any coffee inventory at Chris's house? Please enjoy the small candy." in Asia, Ko to Kozi Tagushi, awesome. Look at that, that's a proper stamp. Thank you so much, Kozi San. Wow, I'm enjoying all this, this is great. Oh, right, we're gonna go in with the loose, the loose cars. 
Man, those coffee cars are just awesome. You could have just sent those through the post, but I know I know that uh, you probably would like to bolt it out a little bit. So, oh, it looks to me like we've got some bus action in us. This is interesting. Man, this looks like the Tomika bus. Let's see if we can get that open. There we go. And a little car. I'll have a look at the car in a minute. Let's check this bus out. Because you know I like my buses. Now that's not the Tomika bus. Interesting. What's that? A Maisto bus. I do not have a Maisto bus. Where the heck did you dig that up from? Yes, Cozy has been digging out the die cast. There is some amazing stuff over there in Japan. I would love to visit Japan just to go on a little die cast hunt. I think I'd have to uh, go past Cozy's house first. Now that's brilliant. Yes, absolutely brilliant. That's like an ancient Maisto. <laughs> Ancient Maisto from beyond. What have we got here? What is this? Oh, this is interesting. It looks like a whiz wheel. Let's have a look at that. There's a play art. Okay, the Chevrolet Astro one. Now, the only time I've seen that is when it's dressed in uh, Corgi mode and uh, has an opening top here and two little people in there. Never seen a play art version of this uh, very mysterious car. If you look at the front there, it looks a little bit like the Corvette Stingray. And it's kind of got a flip up back to it. Very interesting piece. There's quite a lot of detail there going on, really, for such an old car. A little, little old play art. <laughs> interesting stuff. Brilliant. You can go up there with the, uh, the Mercedes Benz. What else have we got? Gosh, this is a great parcel, Cozy. I'm having fun. I really am. He said just to open it up and have some fun, so here we go. What's this? It looks like some sort of formula car. Let's have a look. There we go. Oh, Yatming. Let's turn it in. What's this? A Hesky. Hesketh. I remember the Hesketh racing team. That's a pretty cool car, actually. There we go, the Hesketh. It's sort of like from uh, around about 1973 or something like that. It's even got a little driver in there. There he is. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Oh, he's, oh my goodness, he's made of rubber. Hello, mate. Be careful of him. He'll probably dilapidate any at any point. That's splendid, isn't it? That's the sort of Jackie Stewart period car. Love it. Look at that. Wow. The Hesketh. Didn't um, oh, didn't James Hunt? Perhaps that's James Hunt before he joins up with Marlboro, Marlboro McLaren. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Check this out. The focus is coming through. Wow, wow. This is a Toyota Crown by the looks of things, and it's not just any old Toyota Crown. Oh no. This looks like it's a. Limited vintage one, possibly from Tomica. Wow, gobsmacking! Yeah, look at that. Wow, wow, made in China as well. Crikey, look at the detail on this. Is it, no, it's got a lifting bonnet, but it does have an opening door. I can just jump inside there and go for a spin. Wow, thank you so much, Cozy. Flipping heck! The only Toyota, uh, the only uh, limited vintages I have in my collection are the ones that um, Cozy sent to me. These are just beautiful things. Wow! Thank you so so much, Cozy. Wow! What a thing! Looks like we've got something very nice in this bag. But I can't open it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh! 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 Oh, you will not believe this car that's coming out of here. I'll give you a little blast there. See if you can guess what that back end is. OMG, I do not believe it. It's a Cosmos. Wow. For those of you who don't, do not know what a Cosmos is, this is a Cosmos, the Mazda Cosmos. Only ever have I seen this made by Tomica. 
Look at that, the Cosmo Sport. Whoa, what a beautiful thing. This is lovely, Cozy, really, really lovely. Wow. It's probably one of the most um, <laughs> enrapturing sports cars ever to come out of Japan. It just goes beautifully with those Toyota, those old Toyota 2000s and all that good stuff. That is beautiful. Whoa. Look at those rear lights and everything. It's just so, uh, so hopeful and uh, futuristic looking. It's brilliant. What a thing. Crikey. It's the first time I've actually seen one and held one. This thing's beautiful. Metal on metal. Wow. Holy moly. This is just amazing cozy. And just to finish it all off, we, ha we seem to be having a Lamborghini Miura. It's like a Miura 2 or something. Let's have a look. It doesn't actually say, but... Ah, oh, it's mental. It looks like it's a uh, Kyosho, but I can't say for sure. It's really cool though. Wow. It's no kit car. It's, it's, it came on a stand by the looks of things. But look at that. It's like a racing Miura. Crikey. Look at all that detail. I'm going to say it's like a Miura too. It's, it's got the Halfords body kit on it anyway, that's for sure. What a thing. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Crikey. Cozy. Man, oh man, alive. You have blown me away. Thank you so much. Just leaves me with a couple of boxes in an amazing strawberry wrapper. What's inside? Oh my gosh, let's have a look. What is it? We're going round the box. We're going round the box. Oh yes! Look at this! It's coming out the box. Oh yes! This is one of Cozy Taguchi's favourite cars. It's a little tiny Fiat 500. This is awesome. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm not sure what it's from. It looks like it's from a film or a cartoon series or something like that it just says Lupin the third I'm guessing it's a TV series judging by that little man he must be Lupin I guess and there's a whole load of bump there so we check the bump on the bump so look we've got some Japanese bump oh man look at that what scale is that in it's quite a big one 151 okay Wow so it's bigger than 155 Smaller than 143rd. That is just the business. Look at that. It's got the stuff on the roof. It's got stuff hanging out the engine. <laughs> it's like a little racing version. That's awesome. Wow. So cool, man. Thank you so much, man. This is awesome. Cannot believe it. Look at that. Oh, yes. It's a little travelling vehicle. How much do you love that? Stick it in the back. I mean, it's a biggie. <laughs> wow. Okay, then. Put one more in the box. One more in the bag. I don't know what it's going to be. Tommy Tech. It's going to be... Oh, my word. That looks like a Hillman. It's the Hillman, isn't it? It's basically, what happened was here, the... Uh, Japan bought up the rights to construct uh, the Hillman Minx, I believe it was, in Japan. It was one of the first cars that they got off the production line and kind of founded the, uh, the basis of modern J Japanese motoring, all based off of this uh, little English car. Wow, what a beautiful thing. What scale is it in? The Prince, oh, it's the Prince Skyline. Well, it's not what I thought it was. A 164 scale Prince Skyline. Now I look like a Hillman. There's a little bit bigger. That is 
mental awesome. Wow, let's check the back out, look. Crikey. The Prince Deluxe. Look at the interior detail. Oh my word. Okay, yeah, it's not what I thought it was. It's actually even better than what I thought it was. Cozy Takushi san. Thank you very much. Thank you so, so much. I was going to try and speak to you in Japanese, but I think I'd butcher it. I'm just going to say, this is K5 saying uh, thank you so much to uh, Ian and Cozy for sending these awesome parcels to me. Um, hope you enjoy the photographs on Instagram when they come out because uh, these are going to be some of my definite Christmas pictures. This is uh, K5 saying uh, thank you very much Ian, thank you very much Cozy and uh, Arigato and sayonara. See you later. Ta-ta for now.